EVS Realm, a project like a story with uh, characters, magical creatures, potions and many challenges. Uh, it is a project following a clear and dear metaphor. It is about the space and the time in which uh, wonders can happen, where uh, the learning process of the volunteers, which we call the learning path, can be valuable and meaningful and powerful also. Only if the people who are supposed to facilitate it do it in a qualitative way. They become masters of the learning path. The masters are uh, both the project coordinators and the mentors, but also other resource people, uh, support people from the local community and also from the organization hosting the project or sending the volunteers. The four project partners have created two trainings for project coordinators and mentors to become more able, more ready, more equipped to uh, create, to design and then to implement qualitative volunteering projects. Becoming a strong house in EVS Realm was our first training. It was referred to project coordinators and volunteer managements. Um, the purpose of the training was for them to identify the needed elements um, for their organizations in uh, order to manage to make a quality European volunteering project. We started the training working with the needs analysis, trying to identify what the needs were for all the actors of a European project. That would mean the local community, the hosting organization and the volunteers. And of course other stakeholders that are around the, these projects. Um, we try to identify practical elements on a day-to-day -day basis and ways that they could be enhanced and uh, structured to face the challenges of all the projects. Participants worked on real case studies um, which had different themes or uh, issues, could be intercultural uh, adjustment or practical elements in the organizational uh, sector and we tried to see um, ways of dealing with these situations and learning from each other through the, through the training. We also focused a lot on the learning process of the volunteers, um, including working with the youth pass and the key competences and looking at the development of the volunteers throughout these projects. Coming to the last days of the project, we also looked at tips and tricks that would enhance the organizations in such a way that they could implement quality volunteering projects in focus of a social change within the communities but uh, further around, having a strong impact in the lives of the volunteers but also in their organizations and in their own communities. Becoming a strong house in EVS Real was focused in giving the tools, the weapons, the abilities to organizations to implement quality volunteering projects. I have to say I did learn quite a lot. Uh, and I'm very happy I came. I am very happy with the quality of the, uh, of the training. It was prepared in a very professional manner. The training was designed for people who are new into, into um, Erasmus Plus and EVS in particular. I learned a lot about the milestones of an EVS project, the different roles of uh, people who are involved. EVS Realm, it's um, a setting, a setting to, um, where we have to try to find the, the magic potions and, um, and uh, the, the special story uh, telling stuff uh, for uh, EVS so to, to understand better but also to create uh, a real strong house uh, of EVS. There's a huge difference between uh, what's written in a guide and what you learn when you talk with uh, people that have experience on this and for me it's very valuable to have this um, examples and to have these connections with the people that already did it and most importantly to have the tips and tricks who, who, which you cannot find anywhere. Masters of the EVS Learning Path was our second training 
focused on mentors and support people, aiming to equip them with the needed understanding, skills and practical tools to perform the complex task of mentoring for European volunteers. We started from the birth idea in understanding the main focus of the projects, debating what the role of support people can and should be, allowing participants to exchange views and experience on the way they perform in their local communities and contexts. Our mentors masters could experience the learning path of the volunteers feeling and going through the phases of a volunteering project with its ups and downs and cultural adaptation way be process. At the end of the training, participants decided on the most important roles of mentors. They created a mentors decalogue and also made their plan for the future work together. It was so creative, all these uh, activities that we did, so I learned a lot from this. I had none experience, but now I feel more confident that I know things about mentoring and that I could, I would like to try it. Now uh, I would very much like to continue having an experience as a mentor after this experience since I feel like I would have more tools and more um, ways to uh, maybe be a better mentor. This training course was inspiring. It helped me um, discover the, the role of a mentor and how important this person is. Being a mentor is a challenge because you have to deal with uh, a diversity of feeling, emotions and cultural awareness but at the, at the same time being a mentor is uh, winning for yourself because in this way you know yourself better, knowing the others. I will be more focused on of the work of the mentors because I will coordinate the mentors work so I will now I can to appreciate their work. We've realized how important is mentoring for the volunteers and how crucial it is to have someone to support them in a more structured way rather than just picking general questions and um, um, saying general answers. Uh, it was a very nice experience to have a community where we can actually get back to and uh, continue developing our volunteers. After the two trainings, we now have a community of practitioners for European volunteering projects who somehow uh, hold uh, a symbolic key to this realm, to the realm of volunteering projects. Um, they share a common understanding of the basic quality elements needed for, for a project to be successful on all levels. And they also um, are able now to, to create, to put into practice these projects that not just um, offer special uh, learning opportunities, but they in fact um, generate impact. Impact on local level, on a first basis, on personal level, but also through a snowball effect, they generate um, impact on a longer term. They, um, um, make, uh, they make it visible that positive change is possible in this magical kingdom of volunteering.